Have you ever wondered what is the difference between Docker and Kubernetes? And which of these technologies is the best? The Docker and Kubernetes debate is quite popular among the people who work with software containers. You are on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. As you can guess, today we're comparing Kubernetes and Docker. Keep watching to know which of these technologies our team recommends to choose. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. In this video, we're going to explore what Docker and Kubernetes are and why you might use them, the difference between them, and if they can work well together. But first, let's dive a little deeper into the primary technology that brings these two technologies together. A container is a logical subdivision where you can run applications isolated from the rest of the system. So what is Docker? Docker is a containerization framework. It automates the deployment of applications and containers that are lightweight and portable. The technology behind Docker comprises two major components, such as the Client Command Line Interface Tool, CLI, and the Container Runtime. The purpose of the CLI tool is to execute directives to the Docker runtime at the command line, while the Docker runtime creates containers and runs them on the OS. If you still have a question in your mind about what Docker is used for, let's list its possible use cases. Proxy requests to and from the containers, managing container lifecycle, monitoring and log all container activity, mounting shared directories, putting resource limits on containers, building images using the Docker file format, and pushing and pulling images from registries. You might be interested to know about DevOps engineers' tasks and responsibilities in detail, so check out our blog post. The link is in the description. Time to move on to Kubernetes. It's a powerful tool that groups containers that support microservice or single application into a pod. The apps running in Kubernetes act like a single unit, although they may consist of some containers paired loosely. Pods, containers, and services are hosted within a cluster of one or many computers. Kubernetes runs over a number of computers or nodes. The collection of nodes is known as a Kubernetes cluster. You might ask what Kubernetes is used for. Kubernetes can add features to containers, such as auto-scaling, as Kubernetes can adapt automatically to changing tasks, rollouts, as Kubernetes supports automated rollouts and rollbacks, pods, they are logical groups of containers that share resources like memory, CPU, storage, and network, self-healing, as it monitors and restarts containers if they break down, load balancing, as requests are allocated to pods that are available. Storage orchestration, as a user is able to mount the network storage system as a local file system, and configuration management and secrets. That allows all classified information to be kept under a module named Secrets in Kubernetes. Have you ever used Docker or Kubernetes on your projects? Share your feedback in the comments section. Let's move on to Docker and Kubernetes comparison. Now that you know what Docker and Kubernetes are, it's safe to say that these two different technologies were created to work together. With that in mind, take a look at the differences. Docker is used for packing and shipping your application. The purpose of Kubernetes is to deploy and scale applications. Kubernetes was created to run across a cluster, while Docker runs on a single node. And the other difference between Kubernetes and Docker is that Docker can be used on its own, without Kubernetes. Kubernetes and Docker are different technologies. Bringing these two frameworks together will ensure a well-integrated platform for container deployment, management, and orchestration at scale. Do you already use at least one of them? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.